Welcome back to my channel, BMW Driven. Today we're gonna to be discussing the important topic of gas. I know, it's exciting stuff, but we're gonna to head to my local E85 station. We're gonna test the ethanol content because it's important how much ethanol is actually in the E85. Sometimes it varies. There's a sticker next to the pump that says 51% ethanol to 83% ethanol. Last time I tested it, it was 90% ethanol. So it's very important to test your ethanol, and especially if you're running an E30, E50, or full E85, it's good to know that so you can input it into your calculator and it'll spit out exact mixture that you need. So stay tuned for this video, let's get into it. All right, so I zoomed in on my gas gauge. I never let my gas get this low. I have 14 miles left, it's pretty insane. Uh, so you can see quarter, half, three quarters, and full tank. Those are gonna be 25, in increments of 25. So in between the larger dashes, there's gonna be little ones. Those are five. So this is how you calculate how much gas is in your tank. So for me, I am almost on zero. I literally have like one gallon of gas left in my tank. So I'm gonna consider that about 5% gas in my tank. And this will be relevant later on when I show you how to calculate E85. Okay, we've arrived at Chevron here in Southern California. And the first thing I do is look at these gas prices and get really sad. That is insane, 309 for the 85. It's usually like 250 a gallon and 465 for 91. Jeez. After we've gotten over those gas prices, we uh, grab a water bottle. And I did this yesterday, but uh, the audio didn't come out so well on my video. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I did yesterday. So basically I take the 85 and I put some into a water bottle. And then I come over here to my workstation. This is the E85 kit that I use. It's made by Boost Monkey. I'll have it linked below. Comes with a glass test tube. You're gonna fill it up to this blue line right here with just water. And then we're gonna add E85 up to this red line. Give it a shake and then I'll spit out the actual ethanol content in this E85. Okay, after a couple minutes, this solution will settle and you will see a distinct line right here. That will show you exactly how much ethanol is in this mixture. So 90%, so this is E90, this is really strong. So like I said, it's always good to check it every once in a while. I usually do it every other fill up. But now that we know that, we're gonna put 90% E85 into our calculator and it'll spit out exactly how many gallons of each fuel that we need. Okay, so before I put fuel in my tank, I like to add this Lucas Safeguard ethanol conditioner to my tank. I don't do this every single time, but I think it's good to do it every couple fill-ups and you only need to put an ounce in there and it helps clean your injectors and keep them clean because I don't think these cars were built for E30 and above, so it's a good idea to, to run this through your system every once in a while. Now that we've tested our ethanol content, we're gonna go into our calculator and we're gonna input 15.8 for our tank size. Pump gas ethanol percentage is 10. That's pretty much the standard nowadays. So whatever is in your 91 octane or 93 octane in California, it's 10%. Ethanol percentage at the pump is 90, that's what we tested for. Target ethanol mix is 30 because we're running an E30 tune. Current ethanol percentage mix is what is in my tank at the current moment. So uh, I have 30% ethanol in my tank. And then you move the slider according to how much fuel is in your tank. And mine is 5%. Hit done and the results are 3.75 gallons of E85, 11.26 gallons of 91, resulting in 30% ethanol mix. Make sure this number matches whatever tune that you're running. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Always remember to go out and test your E85. Even if you're running an off the shelf map, it's a good idea to do it. I was doing a custom tune with Kerry Jordan and we ran into some issues with knock events and timing. So he actually recommended that I try a different gas station and sure enough, I went from 76 gas to shell and my knock events went away, my timing got better, and it does make a difference. So at the end of the day, we are in control of what we put into our cars. So it's a good idea to go out and test so we can get the longevity out of our engines and the performance that we deserve. 
So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like this video if you thought it was informative. Comment below if anything seemed unclear. And please consider subscribing. I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos. I appreciate you. And until next time, stay driven.